Hey guys, this is Carol. I'm bringing you another video on AutoCAD. Uh, this time, how to use something that I learned recently called a field. So a field acts pretty much like any ordinary text would in AutoCAD. The one thing it does better is that uh, it will it will keep track of properties of items in your AutoCAD drawing or objects in your AutoCAD drawing and update it as you update the objects. So for example, this rectangle right here has a certain area. Uh, if I want to find the area, you know, I can calculate it myself and then, you know, just type in normal text area is equal to this, you know, like that, you know, say area equals and then whatever I calculate it, right? But what else you can do is, uh, instead you can go in here, you can right click, you can say insert field. And then we'll say, you know, field name belongs to the object. So we're going to select the object. That's this rectangle right here. And then we're going to say, I want the area of this. And, you know, it has a lot of other things you can kind of get from it. But area is what we want for this example. And you can choose whichever way you want to display it with whatever precision you want. This time I'm only going to do two decimal places. And if these are enough, you can go into additional formats to add anything else you want. And uh, just click OK. And you click OK. And you'll watch. See? It gives us this 27.68 square feet. So, if we were to change this, let's say I stretch this corner, you know, that'd be a little bit harder to calculate, you know, myself. But uh, I already created this field here, so all I have to do is regen. And as soon as I regen, watch that area of square footage right there, it's going to update. And you see it updates. And, you know, it works even if, if you're shrinking it, so if you regen again. There you go, 16, so it, it reduced. Um, it, so yeah, it does behave like any normal text. So if you need, you can you know, still add stuff right here, like dig or cut out, blah, 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 you know, and fill, whatever. For whatever purpose you decide, you know, to use this for. Um, that's one way to do it. So like I was saying, you do this, go inside the thing, you right click, insert field. Another way, you just type in field like that and do a base like that. There's a lot of options and I haven't really explored them all. But let's go over one that I found very useful. Um, when you kind of have multiple layouts because you have multiple types of series of certain drawings or something and you need to create multiple layouts. So you, you know, you go down here, move, copy, whatever, create a copy, move, copy, create. Okay, and you know, however many times you have to do this, I'm just do three for example, and then you know you go over here, uh, you kind of grab the first one, boom, boom, move, down, 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 right here, so the same thing over here, da, da, there. And then this one over here, last one. Technically not the last one if uh, you were actually doing this, but this is just for example purposes. And then you, you gotta freaking rename all these XXs because you know, this is 8.51, go here, right? Delete, 51, okay. Go right here, delete. Five two right here. Delete by three. Not only that, I gotta name the tab down the tab down here too for the layout. So right here, this is five three. This one's five two. This one's five one. And if you can imagine, you know, this kind of doubles the work because I just typed this 8.51 right here. I had to tape it down here too. And same for the 52 and the 53. And if you can imagine you doing this for, you know, several dozen more, it's going to take a lot of time. So one thing I learned to do with the field that will save a lot of time is you, you can actually make this field and it'll update automatically based on whatever you name it down here. So if we go over here to this 8.ff, I already created the block for this, right? So... Uh, I'm not going to bother moving these again, but uh, 
let's say I need to create these layouts again. What I would do is I simply right click this, move or copy, move to the end. And let's just do three more as an example, or three total. There, and the last one. Okay, so you see this FF2, FF3, FF4. If I go in here, you'll see that these are a matched up with this. What does this mean? It just means I only have to update this in order for that to update. So let's say this is a uh, 5.4. This is 5.5. Five. Six, all right, and it didn't update automatically because you got to regen. But you know these layouts regen automatically. Uh, so if you go here, five four, five five, and five six, and I don't have to up these again like I did with these previous ones, right? So I think that will cut down a lot of your work, and uh, hopefully you know uh, you'll find it useful. But I forgot I didn't even show you how to make it yet. So let's go over here. Maybe I can. Is there one I can show you? Oh man, I already did it in here. Okay. It's because I shot this video multiple times and I think this is like my fifth attempt. So let me, I didn't save it. Let me just reopen it. Uh, all right, here we go. All right, so I already did it for all these other ones, but I didn't do it for this one right here. Uh, so uh, in these attributes, you can actually just right click and insert a field right here too, if you really wanted. Uh, but I actually put it in the block as the default. So if we go on to the one of these, you can create the attribute. So I'm um, attribute definition. I don't lock it. Do it like you normally would. You know, sheet, num, whatever. And then right here, instead of putting a default like you normally would, you click on this button over here. Insert field. All right. So for the tabs, uh, it's a part of your system variables. So you would go down here, and there's a giant list. I haven't even been through most of this list, but uh, I saw this one, or I looked it up, and this one's the most useful. Uh, one thing I did do is I made this all uppercase for all of them. If, if for whatever reason you don't like that, you don't have to pick it, but that's something I did. So it's always going to put in all uppercase, even if I enter the tab name in, all, in lowercase. Uh, so click that, click OK. Uh, and then just, you know, do it like you normally would any other attribute. Center, Romans, yeah, text height. I, I don't actually want three inches, but uh, some reason I can't fix that. Not in here, but once I get out here, place right there. I don't want three inches. I want quarter inch. And then delete this old one because I'm not going to be entering it anymore, right? Oh, and make the screen. There we go. Close. Save it. Okay. Now this. Don't forget to sync your block. Okay. And now you see it has that gray one. And if you if you need to make a new one, you know, free copy. Let's call this um, something some label list, you know, that's a weird one. Here, actually let's do some lowercase. That way you see that it will put it in all caps for you. And as you can see, it goes outside the box. Maybe you don't want that. Uh, you simply just go in here like you normally would in any other attribute. And then you just uh, make it shorter. 0.55 width maybe. And boom, it sort of fits in there. Uh, but you have to note that this is the default text. So as with all the other uh, attributes, if you don't like the default text, you can simply change it. And once you delete this, uh, it's kind of gone. And uh, it, I'm not really sure how to bring it back aside from inserting the block again. So maybe be careful. Anyway, I think that's, that's all I have to really say about this. Um, yeah, if you have any other ideas for what I could do with the field, maybe leave a comment or something and I'll try and investigate a way to do it. But uh, I was just kind of looking for ways to cut down on the amount of time it takes. Because, I mean, if you go back to these, imagine how many of these I would have had to make for, you know, whatever other drawings. And, you know, doing this, you know, it saves a couple of uh, seconds if I don't have to do this and this. You know, the little tab down here and the sheet number up here. 
So that's just my thoughts. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. I uh, hope to see you again. Bye.